My favorite picture is an Air Force officer stepping off a plane at Andrews to a family that was supposed to be behind, behind a corded barrier, and they just break through that, and, and the photographer just caught it exactly with their, their glee at the returning husband and father. The Syracuse Veterans Writing Group is a group of veterans and military family members who write nonfiction. So we gather every month in the Writing Center on the Syracuse University campus to compose original work. The goal is to have the, the veterans and military family members write about their experiences serving in the military or having a loved one serve in the military, going to war, coming home, reintegrating into society, whatever stories that veterans and military family members want to tell. Our group consists of a wide variety of people from different generations, branches of the service. Um, we're both men and women. We span all identity categories and, and experiences of the military. I served first um, during the Vietnam era, and I served at Suffolk County Air Force Base, Long Island, New York. It wasn't until I fully retired from all employment that I gave myself permission to write because I want to document my history for my family. I found that coming to these meetings, it didn't take me long to feel inspired to start documenting some of my stories. Mainly how we get people in the door and facing the blank page is just to say, you can come and listen. You, you, we give writing prompts at the beginning of every meeting, so we have little writing assignments. People get about 20 minutes on site to write. They can write at home if they want, and we aren't going to correct their grammar. And if they do want to publish, we'll work on editing. We'll make their pieces and help them make their pieces coherent to all the audiences they want to reach. But we also just value the process of being together and being able to articulate stories. Black iridescent in the sun. She sits on the line outside my window, sometimes with Onyx friends, sometimes alone. I actually started writing about this uh, two years before I joined the group, and I took a nonfiction writing class, and I didn't plan on writing about my Coast Guard experience, but it, it, it came up in that class, and I didn't really know what to do with it. And, and here you have people who have shared that experience. Ah, oh, an English major. The recruiter said, <laughs> glancing up from my resume. You could go into our language pool. They'll send you to the Defense Language Institute. It lets you uh, write and express without, without pressure, without uh, fear, without uh, threat. It's, it's a place where you can work without being threatened. And sometimes that's hard to find. The response we want to provoke is people owning the costs and consequences of war, people owning the way in which the United States deploys its military, and also just the personal stories that every armed uh, member of the armed forces has specific stories and experiences. We want them to really feel that each story is unique and individual and yet tied to this collective experience around this label veteran.